all right we are welcome again to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and then turn on the notification button for no, uh, for new videos updates now the last time we spoke about sperm and correlation rank about data that were given to us that were not rank and we had to rank it but now we have another question that is given to us about also in the sperm and rank but in this, you have to look at the question and be very careful. Make sure you read through the lines of your question when you're giving the question. It says, suppose two lecturers, X and Y, rank 10. Now, this shows us that this has already been ranked. So there's no point for you to rank it anymore. So it has already been ranked. So they are ranking 10 students during a micro-teaching exercise as follows. So we have, we have X, we have Y, then I will just go straight to my D, which is difference, then D2, which is difference square. In my X, we have when X5, this is 3, oh sorry, Y is 4, X is 3, Y is 2, we have 5, 3, 6, 8, 8, 9, 5, 3, 6, 7, 2, 2, 9, 7, 10, 10. Now, what do we do in our difference? We subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 minus 8 is minus 2, 8 minus 9 is minus 1, 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 minus 7 is minus 1, 2 minus 2 is 0, 9 minus 7 is 2, 10 minus 10 is 0. Then we'll go to our d square. d square has to do with the square of these differences, which is 1 square is 1, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 2 square is 4, minus times minus is plus, minus minus is plus, so this gives me a positive number. This is 4, this is 1, 1 square is 1, 0 is 0, 2 is 4, 0 is 0. So this we have an then sigma or summation d squared. That is add everything here. Yeah, this is 1, 2, 6, 10, 11, 15, 16, 20. So this will give me 20 as my summation d squared. Now come along to our formula after getting our d squared. Our formula is rank is equals to 1 minus 6 summation of sigma d squared divided by number of data open bracket number of data squared minus one now this will give me rank is equals to one minus six summation d square is 20 so i'll bring my 20 here divided by the number of data we have because that means giving us up here as 10 students so we have 10 open brackets 10 squared minus one this will then give me rank is equal to 1 minus 6 multiplied by 20 will definitely give us 120 divided by 10 square is 100 100 minus 1 is 99 99 multiplied by 10 will give me 990 so this will give me rank is equal to 1 minus 120 divided by 990 so I have 120 divided by 990 oh sorry 120 divided by 990 that will give me 0 0.1212 is recurrent decimal so I have 1 minus 0 0.1212 that will give me rank is 0 0.8788 now if we approximate this to a whole number we see that this is a positive number it comes here this is 1 which means that the correlation between lecturer x and lecturer y is a positive correlation if remember i said in our last video if it's less than 1 it is a negative correlation do we understand so thank you this brings us to the end of our video thank you for staying tuned